This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying Factory Direct. Use of the following video content is subject to the warning, disclaimer of warranties, and limitation of liability as set forth on this screen. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we have the standard gable off the uh, Western website. And what we're going to do is we're, this is an inch and a half system. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark it an inch and five eighths. So it goes an eighth inch past the end of the panel. So there's no, no openings on the very end and it'll be capped off. So no, so no bugs or anything will come through there. So first we're going to mark our inch and five eighths. for our tabs. We're going to remove this section right here and we're going to keep this top section in his back and we're going to remove this section in the back. And then we're going to uh, cut a relief cut here. We're going to fold this small tab first and then this big tab second and then we're going to remove this whole piece right here leaving only a one inch tab on this part right about here with the relief cut so it can fold and tuck inside this piece and then we're going to put pop rivets on each end to close it off And then flip it up and we're going to remove this tab right here. So now we're at the point where we're going to come over here and we're going to relief cut this so we can fold it back. And then we're going to grab our tool and we're going to fold it. Inward, just like that, nice and clean. And then we're going to come back to the face and then we're going to tuck it back. Nice and clean. And we're going to leave this meat on right here so we can put a rivet in there and pin it together. Now what I want to do is mark this point over to this point and then trim it off. And there it is there. Now we're going to pop our rivet here. And then we're going to put a rivet here. And there it is, the end is capped. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make our tabs and miter our end. It's at a 102 degree angle. And I'm going to use my T-bevel to just verify it and we're going to use my T-bevel to mark this piece going down. That way it's running in the right position. The measurement is 63 and a quarter. I'm going to add an eighth of an inch so it wraps around and overlaps the back piece, allowing me to make a nice clean butt joint. So what we're going to do now is to get the angle for the gable piece, I'm going to use my T-bevel to line it up on the back of here so I can recreate the same angle on the back. So you want to put it back on the flush right here 
And just like that, holding your angle for your piece. That way you can do it in one cut. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put and we're going to add this T-bevel to this to recreate the same angle. Set it on top. This angle right here will come out perpendicular just like that after you make this cut. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a one inch tab and we're going to do our mitered uh, 45 degree here. That way the peak cap will line up with this mitered 45 on the back end and this will make a nice clean tab. This ruler happens to be, I believe, one inch thick. For a quick tab, if your tools, you know what you're using, like this tool right here happens to be one inch thick. I need to put one inch tab on the back. All I'm gonna do is put it back on its mark, and there's my tab right there. We know that this is a half inch kick, which if you were to measure from the side, it's actually three eighths of an inch back. So saying that, I will make my mark at three eighths of an inch to recreate the same distance as the front. Mark three eighths of an inch. And then we use a, a bevel or a straight edge to recreate that same mark. And that's where I'll make my cut. This will be my tab and I will cut the remainder off the top. To finish this off, we're gonna come back with our speed square and we're gonna mark the top, cutting it all the way across, flipping it to the other side and getting that same continuation mark. So let's add the same tab distance on this one. That way it's easier to cut a straight line across Once you have all your layout done on your piece, it's good to go and cut. Cut a little bit of an angle, so it folds back. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna test fit it on my wall because I wanna make sure that it's nice, clean as possible. I don't wanna undersize because I'll be wrapped around it and it won't fit as snug. All right, so now that I got my piece, I got the in and here, I, I cut my layout. I wanna test fit it just because I wanna make sure that it's gonna be a nice, snug fit and I don't have any gaps or any issues I'm gonna have when I start piling all these pieces of metal on each other. Make sure it's flush up against the end. Now after we finished all our layout and we're happy with our test fit, it came out perfect by the way. And uh, what I have also the PVC is on here and I'm using a Sharpie just so you can see the marks that I'm making on the piece. The film is still on it. I will remove the field for final installation. Right now what I'm gonna do is take my flats and I'm gonna bend the tab all the way around. Nice and clean. So for right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark the gable side exposed fasteners just so we can pre-drill the holes, that way they all look sym symmetrical. And what we're gonna do is uh, it's four and five eighths in and it's gonna be three inches on the center because the face of this is six inches. Four and five eighths, 21 and a quarter, 42 and a quarter, and then we'll put one at the very end, determining after the lap. 
And then we're going to come back with our speed square. And we're going to mark our uh, three and a half inch mark because it's a half inch kick on the bottom. Okay, so on the top of this detail right here, the end cell where the gable end connects over the top, we have to put uh, beetle tape on this before we uh, put the gable on it, and then we have to apply this to the bottom of the edge where we screw to the gable to the actual roofing panels. Keep it in the center of the leg as best as possible, and unroll it as it's going down. If it's cold outside, try to leave the beetle tape in the sun a little bit. It'll make it easier and more pliable. All right, so we're at the gable piece, trim piece right here, and we're getting ready to attach this piece also. So we're going to attach the same beetle tape to this piece right here on this leg. All right, so now we're at the point where we're gonna attach the gable to the roof panels. All right, so we just attached the, the gable to the piece. Make sure it's nice and snug, nice and fit. Before you add a lot of pressure to it, make sure your tab on the end is nice and tied up against the back and you're happy with everything the way it looks. Then we're gonna fasten this to the roofing panel. You can find step-by-step -step installation videos and homeowner guides on our channel. And don't forget to show your support by hitting the like button and subscribe. Want to learn more? Check out these videos.